celebrated for our local wines, South Africa is steadily becoming known for a new generation of internationally appealing action movies with a local flavor. We got down to the basics of this appeal with our newest action hero. My name is Jared Gedult. Um, I am a South African actor and director. I started acting when I was 11. I was lucky enough to be scouted by a production company back in 2003 to play the lead role of Twist in a Charles Dickens South African adaptation of Oliver Twist. That was when I started my acting career and I think if it wasn't for that moment in time, I probably wouldn't have you know, pursued a career in acting. And the rest, as they say, is history. Since then, I've basically laid a really solid foundation and body of work in the South African industry. I've done various feature films, various TV series, both behind and in front of the camera, both local and international. And it's just been an absolute blessing being able to be a working artist. My favorite part about being in the South African film industry would be just seeing a group of creatives come together with the same common goal in terms of achieving something. And that can be anything from feeling the responsibility we have as filmmakers to really make sure that when we do put out work, that it does have an ability to plant a seed of change. But that must be something that is positive and that piques the interest of the public as a whole. Jared has played in a true life drama, a Stone Age adventure, and taking the lead in his latest thriller, Indemnity, has indulged his need for speed. There's a lot of adrenaline junkies out here, and that's one of the things that I really enjoy, is really coming to a place where you can sweat and you can get dirty, and not have to think about, oh, I still have to go to a meeting in, you know, in 20 minutes. You can just come here and have fun, and as you can hear, the sound's really, you know, all the motorbikes, you've got go-karting in the dirt. Ah oh, man, I love it. Zone 7 is a sports and recreation facility. We offer off-road activities in one. So you come to Zone 7 to enjoy your go-karting, MX riding, enduro riding, stock cars, all in one place. A lot of people come here for the first time, and when they do ride, nervous, and it's your first time on the go-kart track, you think you can't do this but we give you comfort knowing that you'll be able to do it because this is also for beginners. I've done many go-karting courses in my life, right? But this is the first time that I'm able to go full throttle in a go-kart. That is epic. This confidence behind the wheel can only have been helped by Jared doing all of his own stunts in that new thriller. What is going on? Someone try to kill me, Moses. I play Theo Abrams in Indemnity. Theo Abrams, I would say, was a conundrum for me in, in the beginning. You know, I initially never thought that I was the right fit for the role, but I found something human in him, man. You know, I had to find something that resonates with me, and it was trauma. You know, I believe that everybody suffers from some form of trauma, whether it be an extreme trauma or a surface trauma. Ultimately, that to me was very special because that is something that hasn't been dealt with in the South African filming industry, whether it be television or film. So that for me was really, really important to latch onto and then put it up on the big screen. Training for Indemnity was extremely intense. We spent three months preparing myself to be fit ready or fight ready, as the stunties would say, in order for me to be able to hold myself within the fight sequences of Indemnity. The three months basically consisted of firstly getting onto a diet plan, then basically going through four steps of training and that consisted of high endurance training, getting the cardio up, getting the fitness up, then delving over into boxing and grappling and then eventually going on to jujitsu and kickboxing. But ultimately we had to mash all those forms of mixed martial art together then come up with a plan and find the style for the character for Theo Abrams. And we ultimately came back down to Krav Maga and it's a form of mixed martial arts. And that was kind of our basis in terms of getting myself fight ready. One thing I like to do is chase the adrenaline, but I also do like spending time by myself, bringing the heart rate down, clearing the mind, clearing the head, clearing the thought processes, 
and that's why I enjoy horse riding. It's a welcome come down from playing a character with post-traumatic stress. For horses with similar backgrounds, Jesse Pestana offers a place of refuge. Here at Mountain View Horse Trails, we are a rescue center. We look after all sorts of animals here, from rabbits, sheep, goats, and chickens. We also teach horse riding from beginner to advance, and also mounted archery and archery on the side. All our horses here are rescue animals, or well, most of them are rescue animals, very few are privately owned, and most of them come from either abandoned shelters or simply from people who can't look after them anymore. What's unique is we offer a very scenic view. We basically go over all sorts of different farms here, from our wine farms to our uh, agricultural farms. You get to see all sorts of livestock from sheep and cows and all the flora and fauna that you can find out here. Nature gives us the opportunity to really find peace, quietness, stillness, and then realign the mind and the body to see clearer. And it's very important for me to spend time in nature. My family initially stayed in Bellar, and that's on the outskirts of Cape Town. And it's a little town where a lot of people were forcefully removed back in District 6 when they had all those forced removals. My family was obviously put in Bellar, and so I spent a lot of my younger days in Bellar and then relocated to a place called East River where I spent another 10 or 15 years. And growing up in those places on the Cape Flats really gave me a perspective of life, you know. I, I always say that I have the best of both worlds. As an actor now, you know, you get to see so much beauty and you get to travel all over the world, but it's always gratifying to know that I can come back to my hometown and nobody really makes a fuss about who you are. And it just humanizes you, it brings you back to earth, it grounds you. And those are things that I really look forward to whenever I get to go back home. Uh, whether it be Belhar or, or Yastrava. As a whole, international success for me is not only for me, it's for the film industry, it's for the industry of South Africa. And it also plants that seed into you know, young kids in various communities, whether it be the Cape Flats or the Kasi, that no matter where you come from, you, know, you too have the chances of being on a global stage and an international stage, no matter where you come from. After society has faced such odds, a thinking man's action hero like Jared Gedult, who knows the value of getting back to the basics in life, is just what we need. Get more of the Insider Essay online. Follow, connect, engage and be inspired to live better with the Insider Essay. Watch the show Monday evenings at 6, repeat Saturday at 1 on S3.